Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how you can create this brush stroke image animation in PowerPoint. So, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let me show you where we can find some beautiful brush strokes that we can use for our PowerPoint animation. We can go to freepick.com and find these brush strokes. If you would like to use these exact brush strokes, link is in the video description. Uh, one thing, as you can see, freepick.com provides these brushes in EPS format, which does not really work with PowerPoint. So let's make sure that we use the JPEG format. And let's open up that JPEG and Inkscape, the free vector program. With Inkscape, we'll be able to vectorize our brush strokes with the trace bitmap functions. That's super awesome. So let's just select our image of these beautiful brush strokes. And now let's go to Path and choose Trace Bitmap. Let's leave all of the settings the way they are. And let's hit OK. And hooray, Inkscape creates us a beautiful vector copy. As you can see, we can change the color of these brushes. That's super awesome. Alright, so all that's left to do, we can delete the original image and now we can save this file as SVG. And later on we can import this SVG into PowerPoint. So as you can see, I've already saved this, uh, these brushes, so let's get back to PowerPoint. Let's go to Insert, Picture, and let's find these brushes. Alright, and let's click on this button, convert to shape so that we can edit these brushes. And let's say that we'd like to use this exact brush. As you can see, the ungroup function is not available. So we can insert a rectangle. Alright, over this brush, we can select with the shift key these brushes. And let's go to merge shapes and choose intersect. And this way we have extracted this exact brush that we want to use. Alright, so in my previous slide, as you can see, I have used seven brushes. So let me just quickly copy this style from our footer. If you would like to learn how to create this beautiful footer and the rest of the slides in this presentation, please check out my recent class on Skillshare. Link is in the video description. Alright, so now we can adjust the shadow on this brush a little bit. Let's make sure that this transparency is reduced a little bit so that we have, you know, darker shadow. And for the size, let's reduce it to 95%. Let's make this brush a little bit taller, just like that. Alright, and in my previous slide I had inserted 7 brushes, so you can insert as many brushes as you want. And I will just repeat the same style, so 7 brushes. You can use the control key to quickly make some copies, and you can hold down the shift key as well to drag a copy in a straight line. So let me make a few more copies, and I'll meet you in a second. Now let me arrange these brushes a little bit. You can hold down Control Shift key and hit square left or right brackets to bring your brush strokes to front or to back. Alright, so now let's select all of these guys. Let's group them into one beautiful group and let's rotate them a little bit to the right side. Okay, let's check the previous slide. Alright, looks pretty much similar. Okay. Alright, so now let me show you how we can add this beautiful image background to these brushes. As you can see, we actually have a picture set as a background to our slide. And these brush strokes, they are using this slide background as their fill. And let me show you how we can achieve the same results. So for that, we have to find a picture that we'd like to use as a slide background. So let's just choose this one. That's awesome. Alright, and now let's insert a full screen uh, rectangle that covers uh, the whole slide. Just like that. Let's make sure that we send this rectangle to back. Let's make it white. And if it has any transparency, let's make sure there is no transparency. Just like that. Alright, so now let's select our brushes and let's ungroup them. Okay, and now let's go to Fill Options. And let's choose slide background fill. And now as you can see, these strokes, these brush strokes are using the slide background fill as their fill. So that's super awesome. And now as you can see, there are no animations. And let me show you how we can make this 
slide come to life. And let's add a wipe animation to this first brush on top. Let's make sure direction is from left. Just like that. Let's make sure it starts with previous. And now we can use the animation painter and paste, uh, paste the same animation to the rest of the brush strokes. All right, so let's make sure that the rest of these animations are starting after previous. Okay, and to make it more fun, we can change the animation direction for some of these brush strokes. So, for example, the second, the fourth, and the sixth uh, brush strokes could be happening from the right side. All right, and this is the final result. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this awesome brush stroke animation in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video. That's